let's open a mystery bag of jewelry from Goodwill. So it doesn't look that big here on this tray, but um, I do have it on tray. It's a gallon size bag and I paid $29.99 for it. So 30 something with some tax. Ooh, look at that. That looks like it could be silver. So I am excited to get this open and let's see what's inside. Okay, y'all, I made quick work of that jewelry bag. This is everything that's left over that I'm not gonna keep. Probably just gonna put this in a lot of on eBay. And then the everything on the tray is what I've decided to keep. This bracelet here is actually a, a Trifari bracelet, so I thought that was really neat. And this one's definitely vintage. I see these all the time in the vintage bags, like with little gemstones, a little charm bracelet. Uh, we have a Ten Commandments bracelet, a little uh, cheapy statement necklace. This one's really pretty, this little pin. That one, uh, some of the vintage rhinestone necklaces, the Fleur de Lis. I did find some sterling pieces. Um, this one looks like an opal but I don't, I don't know, it's not sticking to the magnet, but I'm also not seeing any sterling marks on it. This one is marked sterling. Looks like some kind of a garnet, really pretty. And we have a little turtle statement ring. It's a little turquoise colored stone and it's adjustable. Um, this is probably my favorite piece. And this is actually by Avon. bonus it can be worn as a pendant too uh, we got one of those Jane Angel pendants mint brooches a brooch uh, some rosary beads with all different colors that one's real pretty oops drop on my back here here's another vintage one I decided to keep the rhinestones this one is just a jumbled mess, but I think it's, I saw a tag on it that said Origami Owl. Yeah. Life is a gift, Origami Owl. Um, got a little angel pen. Pretty purple and gold. Stretchy ring. A ton of watches. Oh my goodness, there are a ton of watches in here. So right now I just have a big bin that I'm keeping all these watches in. And maybe once I get a whole bunch of them, I'll probably just sell the whole lot. So I don't normally keep the stretchy bracelets, but this one was really pretty and gaudy looking. So I decided to go ahead and keep this one. Love the colors. We got a pretty orange bracelet back here. And I thought somebody might like these or shell earrings since we live close to the coast. And over here are a bunch of onesie earrings. Most of them didn't have a match, but I was thinking I could use these um, for some crafting that I'm going to be doing with the jewelry. This, these, I'd like to see the red ones. These studs have the matching, matching set. I don't think they're sterling, but they're really pretty. And yes, you can still see that red from my other color I had on my nails. That drives me nuts. I'll never get red again. <laughs> uh, some more watches. So yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you all this. This is a um, Elizabeth II. Little pendant on a necklace. I'm trying to turn it over to where. Yeah, right here. So it says Elizabeth the second. Really pretty. That might be collectible or it might be just be like a souvenir piece. I'm not sure. Um, let me think. Just show y'all everything. I'm definitely going to keep the Strand of Pearls back here because I can tell it's an older set just by the way the clasp is. So it's three strands. So love that. 
Um, what else? Oh, this one. I'm keeping this one because it says Monet on it. It's real pretty black and gold necklace. And let's see. I think I showed you everything over here. So yeah, like I said, I made really quick work of this bag. Hopefully I can get them all that fast. Uh, there really wasn't a lot of studs or small jewelry pieces in this bag. So it was mainly a lot of um, the bigger size pieces, but there was a good variety of all kinds of stuff in here. So like I said, if anybody wants to buy what's left over, check and see if I missed something, uh, the bags will be available on eBay. So I need to go ahead and get those listed. So I hope y'all enjoyed this and definitely be looking for more. I still have a few more bags. Not to mention lately, I seem to be finding them all of the time. So as long as I can, you know, make my money back, um, I'll keep buying these bags. They're a lot of fun to go through, especially when you find silver and gold. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.